Hey, uh, hey, what did Mario say? What did Mario say uh, when he broke up with Princess Peach? Mm. I don't know this one. Me neither. Is it? It's not you. It's a Mario. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so stupid! Wait, I actually fucked that up. It's it's not it's not you. It's a Mia Mario. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's so stupid. All right. Uh, how can you make seven an even number? And. Seven more? Fourteen? I don't know. Okay. What? Read it. Say it again. How can you make seven an even number? Mm. You can't? Guess I'm out on that one, too. Just take the S away. Really? <laughs> take the S off of seven, seven, and what do you get? E V E N. Wow. That's stupid. It's right, but it's stupid. But it's, it's still. Oh my god, that's so stupid. All right, the next two. It's kind of going to get y'all interactive. Do the hustle. Anyway, uh, Is that right. part of it? No, no. All right. Take your hand. Take it. See it like this? Hey, can you flip your wrist? Like, without flip, flip your hand over without rotating your wrist. Hmm. Can't do it. Struggling there, Mingo. I'm gonna miss my I'm gonna have my wrist, right? My elbow. Use my elbow. You ready? Wait, 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 I'm not done yet. It's just my elbow. <laughs> well, no, it has to go. It can't. All of it has to go. You ready? Cause not not gonna not rotating my wrist, right? You ready? <laughs> huh? Well, I didn't think about it that way. Well, yeah, <laughs> duh. We do it that way. That's not fair. That's, that's yeah. Did you see what he did? did, you see what he did? I'm done. Did I'm done. Well, like, okay, that's not. That's not. That was cheating. I don't like that one. I don't like it. As a dancer, I don't like it because I should have known that. But I was, I was over. I was thinking really hard. So I'm over like, maybe if we do this. this I'm, of course, yeah. Of course, yeah. Uh. All right. <laughs> I feel really stupid. That one really hurting you, isn't it? <laughs> it, it look, just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit, you know. Just a little right. bit. All right, last one. Okay. T W A. T W A. How does when you pronounce it? They're like, what is that? How does uh, T W A? What is that? How do you say that? Is, As an acronym? Twa, twa. twa. Like, how, do you, how does it sound? Sound it out. Twa. Yeah. Like, the, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a lot of twa. a lot of them. Yeah. Just need you to sound them out. Like twa, how? Twa. E W A. How do you sound it out? Like you know. Each one you just sound it out like. As I spell it out to you, just sound it out. So T W A is twa, right? Okay. 
Ray, I need you to stay active here. Okay. Okay, I'm listening, I'm listening to you. Go ahead. Because this I know this is fixed to be one of the ones. That's why I'm preparing myself. No, it's not. Yeah, yeah it's probably the worst. Yeah. Anyway. Go ahead. It's twa. Right. Yes. Twa. Uh, T W E. Tway. 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 I don't know. I'm I'm bad at sounding out shit. Yeah, say it. <laughs> twee or twee, twee, twee. Okay, and T W I. Okay, that one would be twi or twee. Yeah, twee twee. I mean, twa twee twee. What? Yeah. What? Wait a minute. T W O. Twelve. Whoa. Wait. Okay. Okay, twelve. Well, I don't know what this. I I have, I have an idea where this is going, but that one's that going. one's not too right. That one's not really right. T W O. How's that one sound? T W O. I see what you did. I'm not gonna say nothing. Yep. I see. How's that one sound? <laughs> I, I don't. How's this sound, know. amigos? Sound it out. T W O. Sound it out. Oh, How you sound it out? Two. <laughs> Man, you was in deep thought. I was waiting for you to be like twelve. No, because I was trying to put them all together. I was like, what is she trying to? I mean, yeah, both I y'all, like... both of y'all got got like y'all both. This y'all both said twelve. Like it just because y'all were just. In the in the thing, yeah, when did you say? To, did you say? Is that the second time you said TWO? Huh? Yeah. Was that the second time That's you said TWO? Time. Yeah. Damn it! Damn it! And it, <laughs> the second time I got when you said it, I was like, Ah, I see what he did. Don't say nothing. <laughs> and I already got God. It's too fucking late. God damn. <laughs> yeah, you were the first one to say twelve, and then Domingo <laughs> just agreed with you. Like, yeah, twelve. Like. Yeah, because at first he said TWO, and my mom was my mom was like, wait, 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 something's not right. And then he said twelve. Uh, and I was you like, no, oh, you yeah. your brain was thinking like it, all of them got to be together. Like something's yeah, gonna happen. At the end, you were trying to at think. The end, I was trying. I was. I was trying to beat it. <laughs> <laughs> But that's why when you said it, I I stopped and I was going, I was saying it over my head, I was like, some I'm missing something. And then when he said twelve, I was like, Yeah, okay. Tweet try twelve. I thought it was some kind of rhyming. Maybe I just started going with it. Yeah, twelve. Yeah, it's twelve. What is, what he was like, he's trying to get ready to the next one. I was like, I want to give him next one. <laughs> anyway, it's time for what you drinking? What you drinking? Oh. Boo, 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 boo. Yeah. This is Samuel Adams. October Samuel Adams. October Fest. October. October. Uh, that is October. So I'm kind of, I don't know about this because the last Samuel Adams wasn't too very well. You know, wasn't too good. He can just say it, it was nasty. Yeah. I don't like it. Samuel. Was, if this one isn't good, it's probably because it's scary. Boston, I think it was the Boston Lager one. Yeah, just, yeah. I can't. I can't but it one. was not, it was still better. Then that other trash, the temperature. No, that's different. There's that's because it was trying to tempt you. There's this levels, one, there's levels. It's scary, that. good or scary. <laughs> All right, the fuck with this one. This one that's pretty good. It's really? scary, good. Huh. October. Oh, Halloween. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so when you go to your haunted house, I'll do that one. Like some Oktoberfest. I mean, it's, you know, I still prefer Bud Light, but I'm good with that one. I'll drink. I'll do that Oktoberfest. And it's October. October. Yeah. Uh, with that, let's get to this. Talk nerdy to me. Get nerdy with me. Welcome back. We are your hosts. I'm your boy Snake. I'm Mingo D. And I am the Hammer returning. I'm sorry I wasn't here last week. Yeah, he missed out. So 
We had a fun time. Thank you, all our nerdies and nerdettes and nerds and nerdums and every geeks and geeksums, everybody for joining in and joining us tonight. Geekums. I thought you said nerd D, but whatever. Geekums. I like the geek. Well, our nerd D, Mingo D, is going to take yeah. it away for the D. Tails. Yeah. Okay. Then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good recovery. That was a good recovery. That was a good recovery. Welcome back, as he already said, but now into the dark dungeon of nerd entertainment. Why you know you, gonna be the, the, you have the, hand, the hands the are scary. The hands, it's scary. The raw, the, the, like it's in the same. Zombie, because like, look, I, I, werewolves, I know. bam. I, Vampires, bam. Zombies, the things I, bam. When he does those hands, I always think. Serial like, killer, bam, think, and this, but whatever, you know. Anytime he does everybody it, I always else. think like, like he's going to, I'm waiting for that dude. Darkness falls across the land. <laughs> the midnight hour is close at hand. Like, I, I always think that every time you do the hands, like every time. Yeah. But the only reason. The, reason the crib I'm, keeper. I'm just yeah. saying, like, your your hand positions are always the same. <laughs> It's, Every time, it's, it's like in the same. The, 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 like I said, it's like this. Anyway, like this. continue. All right. So we're going to continue with the dark and scary information for you guys, because this is the scary month of October, the great, great time where everything rises from the dead and eats you, or not. Let's hope not because you don't want to die. I mean, you already got to deal with Corona, and then you got something biting at your neck. You don't want that. Anyway, you know, I'll remember use your space modulator if you have to kill the thing. Let's start off with yes. speaking of space modulator. <laughs> let's start off with the mortuary collection. What is the mortuary collection? Well, let's go back and let's talk about Shutter. I want to talk about Shutter. Shutter is an amazing streaming service if you haven't watched haven't subscribed to the service subscribe to it it's four dollars and 74 cents a month you have you get a seven seven day free trial and it is a horror channel where you can find all of the classics new uh the new stuff that's out today like and a lot of indie titles and a lot of like originals is very good but the mortuary collection is a collection of a, it's an anthology collection where you see where you see from serial killers to werewolves and it's different stories back to back so i believe it's 13 of them ha 13 so you know watch it it's it's creepy i haven't finished it all just barely started but from what i watched and reviews i've read it's yeah it's gonna it's gonna get you going it's gonna get you Flustered, don't watch it at night. You know, please watch in the daytime. You know, I cannot save you with my space model later. I cannot, Snake cannot come in and get you. Hammer cannot drop the hammer. I'm sorry, look, just watch it in the daytime. Warning you, this is October. It will come for you. The next thing we want to talk about, since we want to talk about this great month of October and the time frame being that it is Halloween, we want to talk about a movie called Synchronic. Synchronic is, is a beautiful movie. It actually came out, what's the, today's Saturday? Today's Saturday? Yeah, came out yesterday then. Yeah, so Synchronic came out yesterday, and I haven't seen it yet, but the reviews and the previews are amazing. It stars Anthony Mackie, and um, I think the, guy, the other guy is James Duran, and uh, it's pretty much about, I'm not gonna spoil too much of what I know, but it's pretty much about these, I think they're police officer guys. They're, they're investigating um, this strange, like this, this strange case. And in this strange case, they find that, that these, that this, this person is like talking about something like something in time or out of time that's going on. And of course, you know, the two and the two protagonists, they're going through different things. One is like having difficulties because of a possible possible tumor that's given in the trailer so that's fine and the other one is like he's has a good life but may not be loving his life or whatever and then of course they in the investigation they find these 
of course, there's always pills. And in those pills, that's when things are going left. It's like, you know, is 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 this is this real? Is this not real? Is this an illusion? It's not an illusion. It's a sci-fi horror flick. It's 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 very very psychological. It's really going to get you asking questions like, what happened? Did this happen? That happened? Just by the trailer alone, I was asking like at least fifty million questions. So go watch the trailer and then actually go into the theaters and watch it in theaters, or you can just wait for video on demand, which will probably be in two or three weeks. But it's good, and um, there are a lot of uh praises for Anthony Mackie. They said this is at the height of his career as far as his acting career. They said what he did in this movie is remarkable. It it really brings you to a a, a level to respect this guy like, hmm, okay. He's he's something now. I saw him as the Falcon. He was great, but this movie. So that means that's even more praises for him when he does Falcon and Winter Soldier. And now let's get to the meat and potatoes. Since we're talking about Marvel, Anthony Mackie, let's talk about Hellstrom. Watch Hellstrom. What is Hellstrom? Hellstrom is um, Marvel's take on like the dark side of, uh, of 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 like evil. Like if you if you like DC and you like uh, let's say Constantine or whatever, you'll love these guys. It's a uh, it's a uh, the 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 actual spawn of Satan. <laughs> Go figure and about solving crimes, spawns of Satan, let me say that. Um, a girl and a guy, they're solving crimes. It's based off the acclaimed comic book of the same name. And uh, it's actually, yep, it's out right now on Hulu. You should go check it out. It's If you like Marvel, anything Marvel, but you like a lot of horror and you like, and you like things that talk about, oh, uh, things that may have came from hell, fire, magic, witches, uh, and all of that good old jazz, watch Hellstrom. It's out right now for Hulu. There are six episodes. In fact, I think they're, yeah, they're actually done with that. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be a second season, but it is really good. So go watch it. Check that out. And that's pretty much all I have, people. I keep telling you, I'm going to bring more of the dark, destructive thing. And next week is Halloween. So be ready. Wait. Because who knows what I'll bring. I might not even be me. I might be another dude dressed as a dude pretending to be another dude. So yes. be sure the ready. Is. So that's next week. That's next week. Man. Yeah. 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 Time. See how it gets you? Things. Gets you. The time I, I, gets you, man. I think we're going to have to do some things. Flew, flew by. Do some and things. speaking of time. Did you know there's a special thing coming up? Of course, Halloween's coming up the great dark day. But yeah, after that candy. dark day and yeah. another stupid day that we're not going to talk about. Well, it's not stupid. It's actually good. Go vote. But um, there's another day coming after that that's going to bring you so much greatness. So after Halloween and the monsters destroy you, after that stupid day, of you like, oh, finally, this whole thing is over. Then another great day is coming Ooh. where we can lift we can lift up these great things and, and we can press buttons and magic will come out of the screen and we can just mm-hmm. smile. And with that, I'm just going to let Hammer take over. Yes, what? yes sir. I will, I will take over. Wait, I will take hold, over. That's pause. a great segue. Pause. Why are we pausing in the middle of I want, the segue? I'm confused. I'm fixing all to explain it. I, that. I know what he's going to. I've just explained it. If you let me explain. Yeah, you, you can explain, but please explain that shit. He's talking about the inevitable, the most important, I guess, outside of the stupid election. Console launches, man. Console launches. Yeah, Xbox okay. and PlayStation. How Next did month. console launches come up to this and he, said he was using it as if it was a fake controller. He was like, pressing buttons. You, you're thinking oh, too Oh, okay. I forget. I forget. <laughs> My bad. I forget that he don't really have any controllers oh. available. Look, yeah. I did this on the fly, sir. Wow. I did this on the fly. I did wow. I mean, you could have went like this. And That's cold-blooded. You could have went like this. Cold-blooded. Do you know you have any in arm's reach? <laughs> <laughs> now he's got to go get one. See, see what you did. Brett, see, you can't hold this with this man. That took like, there it is. Hey, it's an Xbox one. That, that yeah. took like, how long did that take you to do that? 
Well, he took notes right over like there. 30, I just grabbed and I got it right here. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me see. 30 seconds? Was that 30 no, seconds? No, that was not 30 seconds. <laughs> you had to get up and get, you had to run around 30 look, seconds. People, oh. I am. Oh, look, like. Look, people, people, I mean, listen, listen. Let me explain something to you, people. Listen, I am. Ray is like 5'7". See, you love it. Hammer, ha wait, no, no. Hammer is 5'7". Snake is like 6'1", six, 6'2". Six, I'm 5'4". My arm span can't really go that far. So I couldn't reach the controller. I was reaching. I that couldn't was, grab it. So I had to, to get fair. up to grab it. To that fair, was all the way across your room. I, I am 5'2". That was another side of your living room. I think, I think Tyler's like 5'11". Maybe 6 foot. I'm 6'2". Are you really 6'2"? That's it. Yes, I'm my wingspan only goes this far, so yeah, I had calm to down, ladies. get calm up. Down, ladies. Uh, see, see, that didn't even <laughs> that was unnecessary. Anyway, <laughs> bro, yes, anyway, Mingo D is right. Next month is gonna be awesome. We're gonna have console launches, and and you got new Xboxes, new Playstations, and we'll get to find out finally what these marvelous machines are gonna do. But there are some things that are going to be going on around about the same time that we're going to talk about. I got my note cards right here. Got stuff that's going to be happening in the middle of that, that uh, some other game companies and, and a new entrant into gaming at the same time as the console launches. Yeah, that's the thing. So first, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to start off with somebody that I don't get to talk about that often. That's Nintendo. So Nintendo, um, which you know, Switch Switch players will be happy about this. They are permanently dropping the cost of their controllers. The what is it called the Joy-Con controller, the ones that hook to the side of the actual Switch. Um, it's like the the ones you get. They're dropping it down ten dollars permanently, so you can buy those controls now for forty bucks, pop thirty nine ninety nine, instead of paying forty nine ninety nine. Which, you know what, my little brother has one and. That was the one thing he complained about how absurd the price was. And it, it listen, Snake, you, you got an Xbox. You how many should you play for the controllers when you buy a controller? Like just on average, like you just go get a basic Xbox controller. Uh, 20, 30? Yeah. So it you like see new? Or you yeah, brand new, a brand used, new controller. probably 15, 10, 15. Yeah, so 10, 15 used 20. 30 bucks new and they're paying they were paying forty dollars no fifty dollars for a control for it's a whole switch. Game. yeah so they nintendo decided to do this and there's lots of uh speculation as to why they did it um something that i learned that i did not know um nintendo was being sued by several people for uh control drift that apparently it was, it was a thing again on one of the systems. Now I know anybody that's you know a veteran gamer and had Nintendo 64, you know what controller drift is. Is if you had that controller, you had a Nintendo 64, you had that controller, you knew what happened to that little joystick that was on that that in the middle. After a while, it started leaning by itself, and then you look at the screen and your your character, or whatever you're doing, be moving to whichever side. That slow drift. Apparently, that's the thing on Switch. Um, and it's, it kind of reared its ugly head, and it was happening sooner with the controllers. People were buying the systems with the controls that it had, and within a couple of months, the control drift, like which is pretty absurd when you think about how far we've come since Nintendo 64. And even when Nintendo, I can remember when I had mine, it was a substantial amount of time before I started having the controller drift, like even then. So for this one to have, you know, this issue months after buying it and then you were having to go spend fifty dollars to get another one, I could see where I would, you know, some people be pissed and they start suing. Um Nintendo claims that's not the case. They say they just want, you know, to provide um um provide a, a better experience for people. They want the the controllers to be more accessible for people, they want them to be able to afford them. So they're just doing it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um it's kind of a deal that's that's up for debate. I, I'll leave it for you guys in the comments. You can tell me what you think. Um, I think it could be a little bit of both, honestly. I think they do care about their fan base. I mean, it, it's because you got to think, Switch has, as of, I think a week ago, yeah, about a week ago, they officially topped 
the Wii sales, which was the record for Nintendo anyway. Like wow. the Wii like destroyed any other Nintendo console ever. And now the Switch has surpassed that. So I mean people like it. It's it's a deal. And and like I said, my little brother's got one. I've played it. It's awesome. I like the portability of it. I like the idea of it. It makes total sense. So I get it. Um it's just, you know, sometimes things happen and I think this is an unfortunate hiccup that happened with Nintendo. So uh, again, in the comments, let me know what you think. You know, if you got a switch, if you experienced the, the control drift, let us know, tell me what that was like. Um, yeah. So that, that was that. And then uh, the inevitable is probably going to happen more than likely beginning of next year, the dreaded game price hike. It's going to happen. It's one of those things that's pretty much con confirmed um, to happen with next gen. So average video game, well, any new video game you buy 60 bucks. Um, next gen, they're pretty much throwing it out there. Probably going to jump to $10, so $70 a game. Um, I, I can't lie to you and tell you that I didn't expect it um, with the price of the consoles. I knew something had to give and you know if you if you put it in context the economy and what goes into creating the games and all of it 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 kind of was going to happen on top of that something that needs to be really really considered before people go off the deep end about how this ten dollar hike look at how many services there are now for gaming look at how many different things you can buy to access games instead of just buying a hard copy of a game. I'm not even talking about like buying, you know, a copy and downloading just a digital copy. I mean, like Game Pass, like, you know, PlayStation Plus, is, I'm sure they're gonna do something. There's different things now that you can buy. There's still, and there's still stuff coming that they're gonna have that allows you access to these games and you just pay a monthly subscription. So it's, you're kind of, they're kind of running into a, a, a situation basically and uh so that that pretty much is going to happen now there's still some games that are 60 bucks um cyberpunk is going to release at 60 dollars, and uh i think that's more so because the pre-order is already out there and if you already pre-order for 60 but i mean you can't what are you going to go back and oh yeah it's 70 now you really can't so cyberpunk will still release for the 60 dollars. i think um assassin's creed valhalla did you um, order that one yet? On the next gen, it's going to do well. The Valhalla. You said you were going to pre-order it. Did you pre-order that one yet? Um, I went on to do it, and it, I had a weird error. I have to go back and do it again, but I am doing it. I'm pre-ordering it Valhalla because no. that's going to be dope. Because um, <laughs> Ubisoft's going to have that, uh, oh, what do they call it? Um, it's, got a, it's got a name. Oh. Um, direct delivery or whatever it is. So. Once I get it, then I can upgrade once I get the new console and won't have to pay for it again. So I'm doing that. Speaking of Ubisoft, that remember I was telling you about David telling me that Microsoft trying to buy it, Ubisoft was the one. Ooh. Oh. So I, I need to look into that and see if that's anything. But yeah, if they buy Ubisoft. That, that is major. That, that is major. <laughs> Bro, oh, you're talking about, I mean, think about everything on Ubisoft. Yeah, that's what he that's was saying. Uh, he said that if they buy, if they buy uh, Ubisoft, that he there's no reason for him to stay on PlayStation. Like it, it I mean, Assassin's Creed alone. You're talking about dragging the franchise. You're going to capture the franchise that is Assassin's Creed, and there's numerous other games. Yeah. I mean the, the division. Yeah, I, it, like I, I can't even I have no places. words. Yeah, anything. I I have no words. If that goes down, I gotta definitely look into that and see. Yeah, I I'm, I'll have more information on that next week. Um, so I guess we just had a bonus, you know, breaking news right here because that that's huge. If that goes down, um. I kind of feel like I don't have, and I was planning on buying a PlayStation. I feel like I might not have a reason to buy a PlayStation. Like, why? At that point, I, like, 
there's a lot with these new consoles. There's a lot going on where is. Xbox is major. Kinda, I, I will literally be buying a PlayStation for Miles Morales, which is but, still valid. But it's still a valid reason to buy it because that game it looks fucking yeah. It, I'm sorry for interrupting. Just no, it's good. It's good. You but that, that's huge. I, we should have that needed to be talked about, um, and it kind of works into what my next topic is. Um, but yes, but do know the video game hike is a thing and it's going to happen and we can't really, there's no way to get around it. That It's it's going to happen. And I don't think we should complain that much personally because I'm like, it's, it's 10 extra dollars and anybody that games, like really games, you know, Snake really games, you know, we got you know, friend Kaiser really games, you know, Mingo's on the way. If you know in your heart of hearts, it, you knew it was, it was time, it was going to happen. You remember when we were paying like forty dollars a game? That's back in the day, like, like what Nintendo sixty four, I think we were paying like forty bucks a game. That was like pre discs. I mean, it, it's about time for the hike. We've had the sixty dollar game for what three three generations now, about three generations. So it it made sense. Um, Last bit of news I have and the biggest news I have with the console launches and Microsoft apparently, you know, trying to take over the freaking world, the gaming world at least, which I'm all for because I have Xbox. Um, Mr. Jeff Bezos himself, Amazon, is entering the world of gaming. I said it. Yes. You know, Whole Foods wasn't enough. Amazon itself is not enough. Prime is not enough. Movies is not enough. They have studios now, but now they're entering gaming. So Amazon's gonna do a cloud-based gaming service. They uh they're calling it Luna. And it it is cloud-based. It it works similar to Stadia, but um I think this one this one might work a little better than even Stadia, simply because Amazon is Amazon. Amazon is around the world. I mean, don't get me wrong, Google is too, but Amazon has a way of just being ultra household name and people tend to trust a lot of Amazon stuff. So they're doing this. It's called Luna and they actually gave early access to certain people within the U.S. Within the U.S. they gave it on what are we pointing at? What happened? What happened? He was raising his hand. Oh, I'm sorry. That's it, I was. I just had more to add to that. No, I was, go ahead. Go ahead. I, the the only thing I was going to add is that why I would believe why I'm with you that why it would work. Simple is that Google was trying to get everybody to uh, like download it or or get it off the web browser. The difference is, is that Amazon already is its own website and app. Google isn't necessarily an app. It's just a browser, more or less, and, and, a, ser- and a search engine. Amazon is an app, an actual big, big app with so much. So it's just like playing, it's just like playing a video game on a console, per se, or, on a, or, or like Steam, per se, because it's already its own service, like Prime Video, they can push everything. It's kind of like what Apple was doing and that's why uh, iOS was able to make their game system kind of work. It's exactly. that. So, yeah, and, that's... and this one, uh, they just, uh, to add to that, they just, yesterday, um, on Friday, they had early access for certain customers in the U.S., um, the U.S. only, but uh, they allowed early access to it. Um, this is a very, very small number of people within the u.s um they, they got invited and they could test the games as well as they have an option to buy amazon's controller now please note the controller is not necessary but they have a controller if you would like to purchase a controller um so they gave that option to people that they are letting test it um basically the way it's going to work it's going to be pushed through fire tv mac pc and web apps for ios there is at this time no Android access. It's kind of a weird thing, but right now there's not, but they expect to have it. It just going to be the last entrant into the whole deal. 
But as far as like Fire Stick, um, like I said, Mac, PC, and then web apps on like your i devices, like your Apple devices or whatnot, you'll have access to it. You can you can do that. Um, and Android to come later. Um, let's see what else did they say about this this deal here. Um, in order for them, even with the early access, the people they invited still have to subscribe to Luna because they have the the service called Luna Plus Games, um, and for the test trial, you get 50 games and uh, you get seven days free for those 50 games. And then, uh, and that's going to be a permanent thing for anybody who wants to try it. They can subscribe and they get seven days free. Then after the seventh day, they charge you the monthly fee, six bucks a month, five ninety nine. Oh, wow. And you, and however big the, li- the library is at that point, they're starting off with 50 games. Um, there were no set details as to what games there's no list of games currently that i could see um but there's 50 games on there and it's it's there for them to test and they were very adamant um they they have a whole um, forum open already um they want people to give feedback you know they're very very it's very much so a test phase and they're very open to all feedback they want all feedback good bad ugly they want to know because they're very adamant to make sure that this service works. Um, I feel like they're trying to avoid, they're making an extra effort to avoid a Stadia collapse. And you know what I mean when I say that, because Stadia was everywhere. You could find an ad for it everywhere. It was like, oh, Stadia, Stadia, Stadia. And then like, poof, gone. Nobody even talks about it. (laughs) Nothing's happening. So they're trying to avoid that. And I can appreciate, you know, lots of like feedback from the people testing. So there is that Um, Ubisoft, she brought up while ago um are expected to have a specific channel to launch on the amazon luna service that will work on the service so that means potentially ubisoft titles as a whole like all of them be accessible on amazon luna for gaming so that means all your divisions your assassin's creeds um what else is there what is ubisoft like anything Ubisoft, anything you can think of as Ubisoft will be available um, for Amazon Luna at a certain point. They have not given a date, but that's the first company that's looking into having a specific channel. Um, and the way the service works, it's they're calling it a game, a gaming channel. Like you subscribe to it, but it's a channel like within the fire stick or whatever you're on that you go to and it's got all the games there you select it and then you play it. So that keeps you from oh. having to, like you said, actually download a whole bunch of stuff and do a bunch of like, if you got a fire stick, you just go to that and click you know, on the, on the channel. Then there's the games, you click the game, start it up, play it. And it's, it's all cloud. So they can remove games. They can add games. They can do whatever they need to do. Um, but that's how it's going to work. They're definitely calling it a channel. Um, I think personally it's going to be a great alternative to people that maybe aren't going to be able to run out and get the console. Consoles are going to be hard to find anyway. This could be something you could do kind of by the time if you don't want to. I mean, I still got my, got my Xbox, so I'm good. I'm not getting another Xbox at the beginning of the year, but if you needed something else to do, want to try something different or, or subscribe to something different once this is available, I think it's a good alternative. I think it gives you, access to to more games which is always a good thing especially since it works on you know mobile devices you know pc mac you know practically anywhere it works it it will eventually work on android so android phones samsung's and all that just give it a little time let them finish developing it i'm sure there was some snag i'd rather them fix it and have it come out right than to just throw it out there and don't work right and then Every down, everybody come down on it, and then again, you end up with a stadia situation. But that is the bulk of the news I have. That's pretty much all the news I have as far as gaming. I did want to throw that Amazon thing out there because I thought that was a big deal. That's wow. a that's a that's a huge launch to have, especially with all the console launches. Like you're basically throwing your name in the hat with two major companies with major consoles coming out. That that you know it could be. A, a historical it already is kind of historical you know they they open pre-orders and literally both consoles were gone within minutes so i mean it's you know and in covid like i said we all know covid but still the fact that 
pre-orders were literally gone in minutes everywhere. Like they they press the button and say you can pre-order, and then five minutes later that there's no more to pre-order. Like people literally standing in line talking to a guy, yeah, I got some of those, we can pre-order it. Click, click, click in the computer. Oh crap, you know what? We don't have any more. That kind of quick out. Wow. So I mean, you're launching Man, your we- gaming service in the middle of that. I think that's a very bold move. It's it's a very Bezos move. Let me say that. Talking about Jeff Hi, Bezos. I'm Jeff Bezos. Yeah, you, you just kind of throw your name out there like, oh, I'm Jeff Bezos. You know, I just own Amazon and, you know, half the world. And I feel like I want to make video games and make it accessible. So here you go, video games. And I feel like it's going to work. Like I said, it's another alternative. It's something else to that, to do. And it's it's cheaper. It's subscription-based. It's another alternative. So there's that. <coughs> Excuse me, Kyle. There's that. Um, with that, I'm going to switch it over to Snake. I will have more news on the Ubisoft deal because I, I got to know for myself if that's really going down because that's major, major, major news. And I will definitely have that next week. I will know something. I will scour the Internet. I will call people. I know I will find out exactly when and if for sure that deal is going to go down. And I will have news for you. But with that, I'm going to shift it over to my boy Snake and let him talk about some good anime news, maybe, possibly. Time for nerd information. Got your information. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, nah, I don't got too much. Uh, <laughs> I don't got too much. Uh, I mean, I'm still, I'm still catching up. Uh, but some of the bigger some of the big things that had happened here recently uh basically in Barto uh Naruto actually has a new form uh it's basically uh it's kind of a a final form uh basically like in bleach when uh ichigo found learned the final gets the tensho uh it's and he lost his powers and uh, he didn't, uh, Zangetsu didn't want to tell him the final, you know, like he didn't because he knew it was going to lose and stuff like that, loses the power and he wouldn't be together and stuff like that. Same thing in Naruto. So basically, Karama was holding this back. Like he didn't, he, he was holding it back because the difference is he, he won't just lose the power, you will die. Like, so Naruto has this final form, and it, he might die. Like, there's a situation, though, where if he uses it, he will die, or if he don't use it, he'll die. So it's kind of one of those Hokage type of decisions he needs to, you know, give his life type things. So is he going to die? We don't, that's the question. Is, are they going to write him up? I mean, it's not Naruto anymore. This is Barto. So him and Sasuke are like on death's door right now. So, but no, Naruto. But that's basically kind of going on right now in Barto. Uh, it's getting, it's really good. It's getting good. Uh, the latest Dragon Ball Super uh, chapter finished this week. Uh, I'm back on the 20th. And there was, like we talked about a little bit last week, uh, basically there was all this speculate, like because they kept giving us spoiler, 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 and everybody was like, what is going on? Uh, they, everybody was like, this is trash, this is this, this is that. Like, everybody was like, and then when it, now all of it came out and put it, everybody was like, some of them were eating their words, like, Dude, the chapter wasn't as bad as it thought. It was, eh. So, but it's still, it's still fucked up. <laughs> um, the, with the Dragon Ball Super, basically, you know, uh, I know we talked about it last, last week and uh, did I run that through? Did I run through what was going on? I, I forget because I talked to y'all about it and now I'm trying to, you ran through it, but you you said you still was going to give us the entire, like, like not necessarily piece by piece, but you was going to tell us the other parts that... Well, basically, 
you know, basically in this last chapter, Moro uh, was fighting Goku. Goku uh, had, you know, he mastered Ultra Instinct. Uh, you know, the last, the very last one, like he, he was trapped under the rock. He gave, you know, the last uh, spoiler was that we talked about was whenever he gave him a sense of being and everybody's going nuts. Like it's classic Goku. As is, but so basically whenever it came out, uh, it came out, uh, Goku went over to Krillin, grabbed the sense of being. He, he, and the thing is like his, he got, he's in Ultra Instinct, his body's moving by itself. So it's just one of those innate things of Goku is not thinking like he just oh sense of being shoot 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 like he didn't even get he snatched when does Goku ever just snatch stuff from Krillin you know what I'm saying like it was just an innate thing sense of being snap you know like here take this you know like it's so uh, I don't think that you know I think that his body is working on its own conditioning is on its own like from all the training he's ever done and what he normally does all at the same time so so of course his body is going to do that like he wants to fight <laughs> it makes so, sense but uh so anyway they he gives him the sense of being and you know uh moro lunges at him i'm gonna kill you and he freaking breaks his own hand his whole arm, he breaks it on Goku's chest. Like, ah! Just like, he just snapped all of it. Like, and that was with his power getting back. You know, like, that was freaking nuts. Like, that's how strong Goku is right now. But people are thinking that that's just how strong his body is. But if you look at the panel, like, the like as he's lunging, there's a panel that shows Goku, like, it shows his chest, like, buff up. And, like, it has the, the drawings on it. Basically, his body prepared for the hit. That's not really, it's not how strong he was. He just knew that the hit was coming in, so he braced for it. Like, it was like, boop, boop, busted. <laughs> That's crazy. That's so, crazy. And I think they missed that little detail in the, in the drawing. But um, so then go, you know, he's holding his hand. He's dropped down to his knees. Goku actually deforms back to normal and sits down, squats down, talking to him, like asking him if he's ever chained, uh, trained before, you know, yada, yada, yada. Basically, that if you train, you'd be stronger. Same stuff. You know, I would like to fight you at your, you know, if you would have trained. Well, while all that's going on, he's trying to change him. He wants to change him, just like he done to everybody else. He sees that his hand from when he when he touched Maris is still on the battleground. So he and then that's when he kind of asked him, because uh, uh, Jocko is like telling him like, he's not gonna change, you know, uh, take him out already. He's like, okay, I am. I'm just talking to him for longer. Anyway, he gets a. Uh, and he instant uh, ultra instinct again um, to take him out, and that's when Maris, like Moro was trying to bide time, and he asked him about who this Maris person was, and he Goku told him, "Oh, it's my trainer, it's my teacher. He knew how to do this. He taught me how to do this." So, it was like, oh, his power's in that hand. So that's when he got the hand, put it put it on. And he transformed, and he actually turned in his hair, turned white, his face turned silver. You know, like he he was Ultra Instinct too. You know, type because he had angel powers. They go, they go into the fight. The fight is pretty badass. It actually had uh, in the manga first time in a long time. Like it's a big deal when you have a two page spread in a in a manga, and that's why it was a two page spread. Uh, where they collided their fists and it made a big shockwave, which in Dragon Ball, in the Dragon Ball, like that, it wasn't too big of a deal. Like, you know, you see those shockwaves all the time. Um, and so it wasn't that, you know, major of a thing. But while the fight's going on, like uh, Moro's body starts breaking down. He cannot handle 
all that power. So his body starts breaking down. Uh, his fist like gets all big, and then his body gets big. Everybody keeps comparing it to the Cell Saga, where Cell blew up. Uh, but there's a major difference. Like Cell did it to explode. He's doing it because he can't contain all that power. So it's it's fucking with him. Um, so exactly. Goku got the upper hand again, um, knocked him down, and his body was literally melting. Uh, so I think it was in a last ditch effort, like he merged with the Earth. So now Moro. It's not planet Earth, it's planet Moro now. Um, so now Goku has to figure out, like, that's how it ended. It's basically, you know, Moro, like, shot a beam out of his mouth, his big-ass head out. And that was another panel that went viral. Everybody was like, ah, freaking out. So um, he didn't get hit by that blast. Like, he dodged it. Actually, he did get hit by it. Like, I saw the next phase. Like that was a that was a someone's error. When I was reading, I read the synapse first. It says he dodged it, but then when you actually watch the com completed one, he got hit full on with that blast. It just didn't do nothing to him. <laughs> uh, but now they have to figure out how they're going because if he kills Moro, the planet dies. But also at the same time, Moro's not the the planet is not going to take, be able to contain all that power either. So uh, Weiss was saying that basically with all this power, the entire, uh, he said that the universe is, in per is at stake of blowing up. But I don't know, there's like a lot of inconsistencies in about, about how the power ranges because like there was a time i think goku and vegeta were fighting at full force and they were talking about it was rocking the entire um uh, the entire universe some i don't know but anyway that's how that is and so now we gotta wait and everybody's speculating with that the vegeta is actually going to come in and use his uh basically his power that he learned to, to separate energy so he can separate him so this should, hopefully, they go that route and give Vegeta his time to shine. He punches the planet, pops him out, and then blasts him away. That would be dope. <laughs> I agree. But that's where we're at on that. Uh, next, uh, uh, Rick and Morty Season 5. Uh, it's coming soon. They do not have a release date just yet. Uh, they don't want to have a release date, Morty. They could have a release date, Morty. But the creator of the creator actually came out basically saying that this season's going to be a little different than any of the other seasons y'all, uh, the fans know. You know, like they you're going to be able to see a different. He talked about it a little bit. So that when you uh, get the season five, be at look out for the changes that he's. Uh, that's, I think it's mainly because of the COVID, uh, because everybody's – this season is entirely – then uh, everybody working on it at home and piecing it together. So I think that's what they're talking about. And lastly, I saved this one for last because I feel like this – this is the best story that I've seen. Uh, so any fans – which I know all y'all are, of Animaniacs. Be ready. November 20th, it is coming back on Hulu. Everything the same. Same, uh, same <laughs> graphics, the same uh, voice actors, Pinky and the Brain. Like, yes. all of, they are all coming back. And is having 13 new episodes. Starting November November twentieth, there's gonna be thirteen episodes on Hulu. Yes, can't fuck yes. with. I showed it today. She got excited. She thought she was just talking about she's gonna flip me out this chair. I'm like, I was showing you this. And many had. She's like, and peeking the brain. Like she was like, oh. 
So First. yeah, that's that's gonna be exciting. I'm, I I love Pinky and Black Brand and, and Animaniacs growing up. Man, that's this is what we watched. I wonder if they I wonder if they're gonna do all their normal. Antics. Hello, yes. Yeah, it's all the yeah. same. Same like go watch the trailer. Right now, look it up. And no, no, wait, 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 wait till the sh the show's over. No, nah, go do that now. No, 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 they, the show's they, over with already. No, it's, it's, they it's, they so, gotta they gotta see the ending. What are you, what are you I mean, trying you know to the ending. It's you know, y'all know the ending. So what you're saying is that's gonna be all for the show. Go watch the trailer. It really is. I mean, we're I'm we're all done. That's all I had. And a maniacs. So again. Go check it out. It's fine if you leave right now. It's fine. You're just gonna go Only if you it. like, subscribe, and you know, hit that bell notification, please. Then you can go. If and you don't do it, if you don't do that, you can't go. And you have to stay. Share with your friends. Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. Remember, go to YouTube. Do what Mingo D said. Like, subscribe, comment. Yeah. We need it. Ding. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this. Uh oh man. Huh? Got to tell what number. Yeah. Got what just, number? It just clicked. Yeah. I got to tell the uh, episode number. I'll cut it in. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but thank y'all and catch you next Saturday. I'm gonna go play some games. Wait, man. Yeah. Talk nerdy to me. Get nerdy with me.